so let's see what is storage organization okay storage organization in unit 4 in jntu so when the target program executes then it runs in its logical address space in which the value of each program has location so basically when the target program okay normal when a target program execute then it runs in its own logical address so it's ha it has its own logical address or ip address in which the value of each program has location so every value will have a uh, every value in that program will have a location okay that is what storage location is saying next is the logical address space is shared among the compiler operating system and target machine for management or organization so what happens here is the logical address space like they have a huge space so that is shared among compiler operating system and target machine for management and organization next one is the operating system is used so what is the operating system used for it is used for the logical address uh, it is used to map the logical address into physical address which is usually spread throughout the memory okay the operating system is used to map the logical address into physical address which is usually spread throughout the memory now let's see the diagram for the storage organization okay first one is code we do code static data stack and then free memory heap code is nothing but it is memory location for code memory location for code static uh, data is nothing but it is location of static data stack is nothing but data objects allocated at runtime heap is nothing but other dynamically allocated data code is memory allocation for code static data is location of static data stack is data objects allocated at runtime and heap is other dynamically allocated data now next comes runtime storage comes comes into blocks where a byte is used to show the smallest unit of addressable memory okay when does runtime storage comes it comes into blocks where a byte is used to show the smallest unit of addressable memory next is object of multi byte okay object of multi byte is stored in consecutive bytes and gives the first byte added address sorry so object of multi byte is stored in consecutive bytes this we know okay and gives the first byte address it gives the first byte address so they are subdivided to hold the component they are subdivided to hold the components first one is generated executable code generated executable code static data objects dynamic data object heap and automatic data uh, object stack okay Gen generated executable code static data objects dynamic data object heap and automatic data object stack